Greetings there, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are going into the world of pain with games that I have not actually, I enjoy playing, but I've never beaten. On today's docket, we're going to go see a doctor. The Doctor of Chaos with Dr. Chaos. I don't even know where to begin with this one other than let's just start and see what it is. So let's start a new game. So I can, I can probably say about this game, the music is terrible. I have to say what first of all right now. It's, it's slightly, uh, and it reminds me of kind of like a Resident Evil type game, but with very generic monsters. So you have two types of like gameplay wise. You have kind of like this search area where you go and search the room at all sorts of different things. Like we can go go out here and we go back here. And you have kind of like these action stages, which is side scrolling. Now these monsters, you can kill them, but they come back. So there's no point. So there's this gray area. I'm not gonna really explain it too much, but you have like this, I think it's also mentioned in the Goonies and all sorts of things where you kind of like search the area and you can open things, you can get things, you go into certain items, and then you can also hit all sorts of different areas and maybe find a secret passage somewhere. And to actually go through the menu, you're like, how do I go through the menu? You have to hold the B button and then you can actually go through and cycle through it. That's the thing. So there's this. So if I want to open this door, I go to open and then I go to go. It brings me to another area. Well, let's get that. Life. Well, let's open the window. Get some guns. Open that. Now, the only thing... Like, I know that there's a thing here. No? Now, doors op that open outwards and not inwards... Uh, we'll bring you to, I think, the previous area that you went in. Not always, but again. And then there's the thing where, where you're looking. If you keep on going all over here, you'll eventually have things come out and get you your generic monsters, which I don't know what this is, but a lot of them are rather difficult to deal with, so just kind of go with it. And sometimes you can't even go through doors, but hey, it's what it is. So this might be a longer one because this is kind of more of an adventure game. I think that there's something here. Yeah, there's a thing here. So if you hit the wall in certain areas, you go into different areas. Like you can go down in the basement with this. I'm not going down there yet because that is a horrible place to go right now. Just want to point that out. But as you can see, I'm facing south now. And if I hit sometimes this, things pop out. And that's the thing. And once I get to, and the thing is like, what what is the point of this game? Uh, well, if we go here into some areas, you'll actually go into action stages, I guess. And yeah, you just kind of go into these action stages. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go yet. Oh, no, I got the... Yeah, this 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 game is 
it takes some getting used to. It does remind me a lot of Resident Evil, but you know, m even more ridiculous if that's possible. But how did I get to know this game? Well, obviously from renting it, I, it was at the my local game store at the time. And I just rented it because I was like, oh, well, I didn't rent this and let's give it a go. And I found it incredibly frustrating at the time because I was like, oh my God, I have no idea what to do. And then there was um, a book I got like back in the day where it had uh, Nintendo games for preview. So this has one of them and it showed me to where you get like the item that you must have. Oh no, I don't want to do. I definitely want to stay on top here. So you can also switch with select your certain weapons. So I want to definitely stay on top. No, I went down. I th think, yeah, I'm going to have to go up here. But yeah, these action stages really are a pain in the ass eventually. Because the one thing is that you do them kind of like in an order. I kind of want to do like almost a full playthrough of this, even though I did not beat it. But I know enough to actually attempt to maybe do a full playthrough. Are you coming up? Nope. Let's just keep on going. All right, so what enemy do we hear? Oh, this is the first stage, okay. I thought it was the second stage, but it like this, and when we get, and uh, we beat a boss, quote unquote, we get a password, which is terrible, and then we get an item. So the item we got is the the, the action stage um, locator, I guess, and the gem I got, uh, something appeared in the top right. And you have to assemble like this this gun, basically, to defeat this final the final boss. So this definitely is the first stage that you need to to go with. Because if you don't get that battle the battle stage locator, which again I don't know the the correct term is it for then you will have no idea where you're going, basically, so. And again, there's no indication of like what battle stage you go to f to in order. And there's some stages that you need certain items to get before you go into other battle stages. Like if you go in an underwater battle stage, uh, you will die because you need a helmet to breathe. So there you are. And also it would help if you had more life too. Because in some end of the battle stages, you'll get the... So as you can see, I have like that little device over in the corner now. So if I were to go to somewhere that had a battle stages, it would light up. And that makes things a hell of a lot easier. So if you already got the item and the part for the the big gun, then the light will not go up there. But the battle stage is still there. So the thing is, I, I can go back into the battle stage, but I don't need to because it's already done with. So... So you just go around basically collecting equipment and just being like, okay, cool. I'll uh, just 
Can I go in here? Is this... Sometimes you really kind of like, where do I go? What do I do? I just want to go out. Can I go here? No? It's a lot of searching. It is like literally an adventure. And I guess I'm going here. Can I go out? Okay, what's, what's this one? Oh, can I hit this? I'll go. Okay. Go away. Lordy. Alright. So as you can see, that the device is actually turned on. It's flashing. So there is a battle stage here somewhere. So can we go here? No. Is it the door? Okay. So here, as you can see, there's water. I do not have the helmet, so I cannot go in the water right now without getting hit uh, immediately because I need a helmet to breathe underwater. So at the battle stage, I can't go into. Can I go here? Nope. So I have to remember that one of the battle stages are there. You can also just kind of hit around and see if there's any, like, spots around you can hit. How do I get out of here? Can I hit? All right, go through here. All right. Your knife is going to be probably, like, the best weapon to get through most things. Now your max life right now is only 99. You can only do that. So if you see any of those like little jars and you have 99 life, don't don't get it. Hmm. I believe that there's a hole there and if you see a basic hole, you can actually go through it. And that'll bring you to another area. So again, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna be fumbling around a lot because this game See now that goes upwards, so that goes to the attic. Let's not go to the attic yet because that is a horrible place to go. Can I actually go out? Oh I can, okay. I thought it went the other way. Hmm, can I go over to the the west or the east? Is there another? Is there a place I can go over there? No, no. Oh, there we go. So as you see, I'm pointing east, and there's a place that I can go east. So there's a little direction in this one. So let's go over here. Let's get that. That's a that's a more powerful gun than your normal gun. Uh, can I go out? So yeah, so I here I am out here. Oh, and we have a action stage here. Oh, here we go. I believe that this is not a good one to go. But again, you can kind of just test it out by going the easy route because you're like, oh, like I really... Because the most likely the way is that then you'll run into like giant monsters like this and just you, you don't want to deal with those. I don't even actually know. Oh, this might actually be a action stage I can do. Although I think it might be the last action stage. How do I get up there? Again, I haven't beat this game, so a lot of these action stages, I've seen a chunk of them. I think I might need the boots, because there's boots in this that allow you to jump a little higher, and I think I might need those to, to come here, so. But again, if it seems way too difficult, 
come back later and you will definitely be a little bit better equipped when you find stages you can beat. You just kind of have to remember where everything is. Can we go here? That's not where I want to go. Can we go in here? No. So yeah, this this there's really no story behind this. It's just I played it one one day, and I'm like, oh, this is a goofy game. Why not? So we have another stage here. So what's what does this go? Oh, good lord, is this the one? I think this might be the one. Now these guys, you just kind of definitely want to use your gun on. You can use your knife on them, but they're really difficult to hit. So you want to definitely stay on the top. This one you can use your knife because, well, he can't get you, or it can't get you. But as you can see, battling these things with your knife, not, not a good thing. Controls aren't that bad. They're not that great. A lot of the things is a lot of the times I'm like, I want to harp on the controls. And this one it's not bad because you, you you can you can move your jump. It's not like a you gotta you jump and you commit to your jump type thing. Let's throw a grenade. Boom. Alright. So grenades will actually hurt you also. So do keep that in mind. But also, it kind of is a, a, a scream wipe also. Yeah, I might just do this just to kill him more easily. Yeah, don't be afraid to use your weapons, because I was, and I was like, oh, I might need them later on. Just just use them. A lot easier. Saves a lot of aggravation. Oh, I think it's this one. I might need my grenades for this one. So here, definitely want to get the uh, the health pack because it will definitely come in handy. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's not dead until he is dead. Definitely want to use your gun if you can. No, actually, I think you might need to have to use grenades anyway. But. Oh, I actually beat him. Sweet. So that guy, you definitely want to use grenades. Begin. There you go. Boom. Make a copy. I like that. Please make a copy. So I think that one had the most terrible time, and then I learned that you have to use grenades on him. So make sure you have more than, like, four or five grenades. But anyway, just like Zelda and all that, you get health containers. And that will help you stay alive, basically. So you can get up to four of them. And I died. And once you die, you can continue... You will come to the beginning. You will keep your your big gun parts, but you will lose pretty much everything else. You will start at 50 life also. So again, you got to go through everything. Oh, there's something here. Ooh, okay. Let's, let's tempt uh, this with just nothing. That's the thing, you'll never know where your action stages are. And the amount of action stages are the amount of gun parts there are, so. It's not a bad, like, it's not a bad game. It's just, it has a very generic 
title. And I don't think I'm going to actually win this one. And if I... I'm not going to play play as much as I can because, again, there's just too much. And I might want to return to this game again one of these days and actually play like a pull, a full playthrough of it. Do I have to go down? Oh, I have to go down. Yeah, this is starting to get a little bit more. Get over here. I was... Okay. All right. Well, there's that. Let's continue. But again, it starts to get a really aggravating because I'm like, oh, you have to go, especially if you die, you have to get everything again. So that's like, uh, I really don't feel like having to go through that all again. So you get get you get the idea. It's not a bad title, I have to say. It's not a bad one. Although it 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 needs definitely some polish. One thing is definitely that needs to improve is a um, instead of a password that you know a save feature would be great. And luckily that the Famicom, because this was originally on the Famicom also, it was on the Famicom disk system, and luckily the Famicom disk system has a save feature, so it, it actually has saves with the Famicom disk, disk system. So if anything, I might give that one a go, because I only played it a little bit. I don't know if there's an English translation patch for it. If there is... Then, then there is. Like, I'm not going to be... Am I going to run into a monster? Yes, of course I am. And the thing is, that, like, if a big monster like this is out, you can't go into the... the doors. So you kind of have to beat them. Alright. Wait a minute, isn't there, there a thing? Oh, I beat it already. That's why I'm like... I'm like, why Why is that not showing up? And I thought, oh, that was a different one. Okay. Gun on the cable? Sure. Can we go through here? Hmm. Again, if you don't open the doors, the monsters won't come out, but you won't be able to go anywhere, so... It's a double-edged sword, and you kind of want like, I want to adventure, but monsters. Okay, so I got to go west. So there's a thing around here somewhere. Bingo, and there it is. So I'm at full life, so I don't need to worry about life. Got some guns, got some more guns. And again, with also guns, is 99 is the the uh, the point. So, am I going to run into a monster? Of course, I'm going to run into a monster. Again, you can also use guns. You know, makes things easier. Definitely makes things easier. We'll go to like the the outhouse over here, the back shed. Sure, we'll go to the back shed. Uh, can we go here? What is this one? Why, hello there, sir. Now I'm just gonna get you and so we can not worry about it. And we have water, so we can't go here. Grenade. So I don't know if... Oh, there's that. So south. I'm wondering if we can get into the cellar this way also. Maybe not? No? Like, it's good for, like, I guess a point and click a little bit. I think I might just go in here. Can I not go in here? 
you know, I'm going in there because I want to reset the, uh, the thing so I don't run into a monster. So, let's go in here. Uh, no, I'm not going to get that. I don't need it. That's fine. Okay, so that's how you get down in the basement. More guns. Can't, can't go wrong with more guns. Uh, let's take a look here. No. No. Uh, let's go in the basement then. Now we're in the basement. Let's take a look around. Grenade, sure. What is that, the west? If anything, I think I might have to go east. Uh, can we go in here? Okay. Again, just want to reset the, the thing because I don't want to be fighting monsters. Alright, so I think we're definitely going to find something here, maybe. So I gotta go east. No? No. Okay, so is it a door? I'm gonna go up here. Alright, so east. Go in there. Nothing there. I know I'm not saying too much about, like, there's not really too much to say other than just, like, oh, this... It's it's strangely... Wait a minute, did I just go back into where... Yeah, I did go back into where I wanted to go. So... Because there's a lot of same samey like things. But we have a action stage here. I believe it's probably in the window. Is it in the window? No, it is the door. So let's go. Oh, I believe I can do this one. Yeah, I believe this is... Yep, we gotta go up here. But yeah, these action stages are pretty good. And again, the thing is, you try to go as far as you can, and if you can't really go any further, then you just come back to it later. Or I was like, no, I need to pass this, and I'm like trying to rack my brain, being like, I can do this. In actual fact, I can't. I guess I could have. Okay. Okay, if this guy gets very annoying, I'm gonna use a grenade. Use a grenade anyway, to just take care of him. There we go. No, I just got rid of him. No! No, 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 no. Grenade. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't want him, like, hitting me. Like that. That's what I didn't want to happen. So the thing is that if you stay in one spot for too long, there's this, like, fireball that comes. Am I able to get that? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Okay. So it kind of forces you to kind of move, which I really hate. But, eh. All right. Now here's this. Best thing is to do is just to kind of use your gun, hit him, go back up, hit him, go back up, hit him, go back up. Hit him, go back up, hit him, go back up. You can use your knife, but again, why? Because... Just 
Just keep on doing it. You can use a more powerful gun if you want. To speed up the process. Oh wow, I didn't expect it to be. There you go. Another piece of the gun. And the password. And if we go over here, we got ourselves a helmet. Look at that, a nice shiny helmet. So now we can breathe underwater. So yeah, it's, uh, it's the kind of the flow of the game. It's a little Metroid based, a little bit. So I th think I just might die to get Boom. I don't know. I really it, it it's 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 an okay game. Just kind of wish things were a little bit more frequent. And again, a save feature would be amazing. So you don't have to like do passwords. Passwords are just terrible, man. But that's what you do. You just kind of search for their house, look for action stages, and do ones you can. The other ones you can't do, just wait until later on. And that's about it. But other than that, it's not a bad game overall. Excuse me, sir. Just go around doing all sorts of different stuff until you nope open okay yeah, let's go let's go down to the basement okay so I gotta get over to the the east so is there a a way to get, or... or is there a door? I really don't know if it's a door or if it's a. Hmm. Again, you have to kind of look, look around. Actually, I should probably see what the other door is first. So let's go out. Out. Come on, you rat. All right. We got some granados. Granados. And some health. You always want to try to look around for hidden passages too. This is where I was. Just curious. Got some. Huh. This is definitely suspicious here. Okay, where do I? Where's this go? Is this where I came from? Yes. Closets. The closets apparently are. Okay, I'm going to take a look around here. Maybe there's some kind of hidden passageway here. There is. So you just kind of look around and you're like, oh, secret. It's a secret passage. Oh, I wonder where the action stage is. Try another one before we call it quits. Because, again, I don't know where all the action stages are. You gonna jump there? Now you're gonna get wedged in between your thing? Sure. No problem there. 
stay right there. Don't worry about a certain thing. I'm going to get nailed twice. Do it. Boom. Boom. I think that definitely I'm going to need the jump boots for these. Yeah, I'm going to need the jump boots for this. But again, that's what you do. You just kind of scout out the locations and it's like, oh yeah, okay, well, I need to, I need some item for this. Fireball! Anyway. I'm going to try to go as far as I can with what I got and, you know, say as much as I can about this. But again, this does remind me of Resident Evil a lot. But a lot more kookier, if you... if there's such a thing. Because you're in, like, a mansion or some kind of, ha like, big house. And you gotta look for items to proceed. Hey, I'm over here now. Okay, so I don't want to go in there. Do we have to find that hole again or not? Maybe. I don't know if we go through here. That's the way out. And there's that hole, okay. Take a look for more. Kind of want to maybe go up. Can we go out here? Nope. The thing is, some directions are okay, and some directions are like, oh, I am. Is that going to take me out or not? Is it going to take me out? Okay, that didn't take me out. But this one probably will. Okay. Go away. No, see. Okay, let's go back up. We go here. Nope. Let's go over here. Hmm. Open door. Go out. No. Wait a minute. I was just here, wasn't I? I guess not. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can go east. There we go. See, when I, when I was younger, I was like, how do I get to these places? And it's like, no idea and it's like oh maybe there is there is some direction to there's some madness to this cuz I, I thought it was just random back in the day but yeah maybe there is some so i got to find my way to the attic again So let's see if we can find ourselves an attic way up. Grenades are definitely going to come in handy. Ooh, what is this one? Some guns. Guns are always good. More of this. Now, did we... All right. Uh, did we... Obviously, we didn't do this one. But I think we need the boots for this one. Hmm, okay. okay let's go back through here. 
and I believe that there is a hole to the west. I gotta find that way to the attic somewhere. I think this definitely, like, I have played the Goonies a little bit. Or the Goonies 2, I guess. No? Nothing? And I think the Goonies are... Oh my god, this guy! For some reason, you run incredibly slow when he... Is, when that thing is around. Alright, nothing there. It's kind of hoping that there's like other monsters other than the one monster that appeared like every single time. Let's give this hit around. Nothing? Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run into this guy again. There we go. Let's go to the attic. So we're in the attic now. And I believe the one item we're looking for is in the attic. Because I remember going to the attic before. And I'm going to go here. And let's go in here. No, and sure, why not? Grenade, okay, so here we go. All right, so this is this is the one that you definitely need the helmet for. If you do not have the helmet, then you will not proceed in here whatsoever. And the thing is that you're You're going to be very kind of somewhat slow in the uh, the water, so these fish will have a definitely a time with you. If you you can also jump really high, and you can't really control the way you're going, so throw a grenade to get rid of these fish. Yeah. You have weapons? Use them. Definitely use them. Now, from what I remember, we're going to just use a grenade to get rid of them. Hopefully, they don't come back. Which they do. Oh, good lord. Which way? I think it's up. It's usually always up. And it's of course not up. Of course. This time, the only time I was like, oh, we go up. But yeah, this is, this is not a bad, not a bad one. It's definitely like out there for interesting content. I'm just going to wait for that to go. And then go down, hit him, hit that thing. I'm really glad he went the other way and not the way that I was going. Okay, Mr. Fireball, go. All right, let's get up there. Getting out of this place is a pain also. Once you get here, you're like, oh, yeah, to the boss. Kind of wish I would have had at least one reserve before going like this. I'm just going to use grenades. Nope, not big guns, big grenades. I 
And I remember like going through here just with the knife because I'm like, I was too proud to use grenades and stuff. And I'm like, screw that. Give me, the, give me the grenades. Why hello there, Mr. Turtle. Can I just hit you over and over and over again? Yeah, some of the bosses are incredibly difficult while others are really goddamn easy. Like this one, it's like, just keep on hitting him, hitting him. And then, oh, I gotta actually hit him with, If anything, get the jewel, and then you don't have to worry about it later on. Just in case you do die. There we go. And there we are. So we got ourselves a boot, which makes us jump higher. And I think I'm going to actually die because I really don't want to go through this. And I used up a lot of my gun, but not my big gun, so it's fine. And I really don't want to go through this, so we're just going to do, we're just going to die. And I think I'm going to call it quits there because that's pretty much where I... Most of most of the time, are where I where I left off. Like I didn't get too much more other than the the boots. But let's see if we can show off the boots first before we go here. So for the boots, we actually can jump like a bit higher with the boots. So maybe we can do this one. I don't know, maybe. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can do it just knife only. I really don't know what the, the next item is. There's like one more item you can do, get, and again, I don't know what that is because I've never beaten this game, so... But again, I'm really kind of going back to a lot of games I didn't know how to play back in the past and be like, oh, how do you... Oh, okay, well, we'll just go this way. Sure. So your grenade would be, well, wonderful right now. See, I'm like here, I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be the boss is going to be incredibly difficult to do. Also, what is this? Well, at least I got some. Oh, wow. I actually legitimately do not know. He really does take off a lot, though. All right. Anyway. That was Dr. Chaos. A little bit of chaos, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Uh, definitely reminds me of Resident Evil these days. But anyway, definitely good. I think I might definitely do a full playthrough once I beat this game. Legit. Anyway... Uh, thanks for this journey down memory lane again, and I'll see you guys next time. So, I was thinking of some chaos pun, but I'm really not thinking of anything right now. So just be chaotic. Catch you guys later.